Solid Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys six different types of instruments that you can make at home with the things you have around you. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel down below in order for me to keep posting more videos about this and other crafts and tutorial videos. Comment down below what you thought of the video and if you have any other ideas for any other projects that I should make. Now without further ado, let's get started. The first instrument I'm going to be showing you guys is this one right here. I guess it's, it looks kind of like a circular guitar. Um, what I did is I basically took a spool and I took about 16 rubber bands of different sizes and different widths um, and I strung them together like this. I just wrapped them around the spool and I made sure to tape around to uh, add some tape around the edges to prevent the rubber bands from slipping off basically. Um, and then you just pluck the strings basically like this. Each individual um, rubber band makes a different tone. So that's what makes it a nice instrument like for different like notes. Now obviously this is what it sounds like without any like amplitude, but if you put it inside a box like this, right, this is what it sounds like so far. But this is what it sounds like when you put it in contact with this wood box. As you can tell, it sounds a bit louder and it sounds more like amplified. Like that, and then you can play the instrument here and it makes pretty decent noise, uh, not gonna lie. So it's, it's just a very simple instrument. It took me less than five minutes to make. Now on to the next instrument. Here I have a simple sheet of metal. Uh, shiny on one end, not shiny on the other. Um, you can use this to make really loud like thunder-like noises. As you can see, I'm barely moving it and it's already vibrating and making noises. But when you shake it, it almost sounds like a bit like thunder. And it does make a very loud noise too. If you hit it, it can also make for a pretty nice drum, you know? Um, it sounds pretty good and it makes a really loud noise because when you, when you shake it and it vibrates it causes disturbances in the air and generates uh, sound like that. So very simple instrument to make and actually you didn't have to make anything at all if you just had a random sheet of metal lying around. Now on to the third instrument. This is the third instrument right here. So here we have different types of tools. We have a couple hammers a couple screwdrivers, another flathead screwdriver, we have a hole puncher, and all this is inside a styrofoam cooler. And then here I have just a wooden drill bit, or a drill bit for drilling wood, and then when you hit it, it sounds like a really nice, uh, makes a really nice like noise, like a chiming noise, like a chime. and it makes uh, all different types of tunes. This shows that uh, you can use so many things at home. So if you have some tools laying around and you just don't have anything else to do, I guess you can make this. And obviously don't forget about the styrofoam cooler, uh, which is basically helping the sound vibrate inside a in slightly enclosed area, therefore kind of amplifying it out. On to the fourth instrument introducing the fourth instrument. Now this is a really old trick in the book, but if you didn't know already, you take a balloon. And you blow it up. If you pinch it with both your hands like this with your thumb and your pointer finger, it starts making a uh, squeaky noise like this. And then the more you pinch, the higher the note is, the less you pinch the lower the note is going to be. And then you can make all types of silly notes with this thing. Like that. And it's just a balloon, you didn't have to make anything at all. So, And also you can experiment by using different sizes of balloons uh, to get different tunes. On to the fifth instrument. Here I have this uh, water blaster you know this you can get this at the dollar store for like one buck and then basically how this works is you have a piston moving inside this chamber and it 
you just blow it out without the water, it blows out air, right? If you blow in it, like that, you heard a certain tune. Now, if I just move this down, you hear a different tune. So you can almost use this to make uh, different tunes when you blow through it like this. Like that. The more air there is, or the lower down this is uh, pulled down, the lower the note is, and the closer up this is, or the less air there is in this chamber, the higher the note is. So you can use this to make some fun notes. On to the sixth instrument. I have right here a toothpaste box and I have a shoelace. If you put your uh, pointer finger and your thumb right here, you hear kind of a little noise right here. So what's going on is the friction right here is causing vibrations inside the box and then the box is amplifying the noise. Like that. If I did it from this end, you see you don't hear it. You barely hear it at all, but when you do it from the end of the box, like this, you hear kind of like a different uh, tune. So those are the six different types of instruments that you can uh, make while at home. Now obviously there are many other types of instruments that I didn't put in this video uh, that you can obviously feel free to try to make if you would like to. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thank you for your support, and I certainly hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time.